Good evening viewers, welcome back to the Channel 13 News, where tonight's top story is on public health and the growing awareness needed for the five levels of prevention. According to the CDC Foundation, public health is the science of protecting and improving health of communities by promoting healthy lifestyle, research of disease, and injury prevention. Also, public health acts for the detection, prevention, and response to non-communicable and communicable diseases. Prevention further breaks down into the five levels, primordial, primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary. Let's take a look. Primordial prevention consists of conditions, actions, and measures, typically government legislation put in place that minimizes hazards to one's health. Primary prevention consists of preventative approaches and interventions that seek to avert the occurrence of alterations to health and prevent disease, injury, or disabilities. The flute is considered to be one of the 10 leading causes of death in Canada. Vaccination is essential to preventing influenza. Last year, 42% of Canadians got the flu shot, decreasing the risk as well as contributing to herd immunity, which decreases the spread within the community. Getting the flu shot helps especially those who are immunocompromised and can't get the vaccine themselves. Secondary prevention consists of activities that are aimed at early detection, diagnosing, and treating conditions, diseases, or altered states of health before they can fully progress. 75% of adults have had at least one type of HPV in their lifetime, there's more than 100,000 new cases of chlamydia in Canada each year, and as many as 1 in 7 people between the ages of 14 to 59 have herpes or HSV. Tertiary prevention consists of activities aimed at preventing further deterioration of an altered state of health. In Canada, approximately 50,000 people suffer from stroke each year, with 15% of cases leading directly to death and 75 resulting in long-term disability. One solution is to undergo extensive physiotherapy in order to lessen the symptoms of stroke and prevent further disability from occurring. Quaternary prevention looks at actions that monitor and prevent possible harm or adverse effects caused by health interventions, treatments, medications, and more. 200,000 Canadians will contract a hospital-acquired infection or HAI yearly and about 8,000 die as a result of these infections. Proper use of protective equipment and personal hygiene have the potential to significantly decrease the number of HAIs being spread. What a great segment on prevention. Ensure you're aware of these types of prevention to stop exposure before it happens. Understand that it only takes awareness to save lives. It could save not just your life, but the lives of others also. Thank you for your time. We hope this video has helped you understand prevention and you can spread this awareness to others too. From everyone in the studio, good day lads.